Hey, how's it going fight fans? Welcome to Mind for Combat. If you're new to the channel, my name's Rohan and this is my platform where I do fight sports related content. If you're new here, why don't you help me grow my platform? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like it and maybe hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. It's not going to cost you nothing, it's going to help me reach personal goals. So why don't you help me and, you know, just help me hit those goals by just hitting that subscribe button and maybe checking out some Marvel content. You might enjoy it, especially if you're a fight fan. Anyways. This is a video that I've really been looking forward to making. It's about a martial artist and a warrior who I have been a huge fan of for the longest time. A guy who I have so much respect for in the fight game and his abilities as a warrior and a martial artist that it blows my mind that more people don't know who he is. Now, if you guys know my channel or know anything about me, you'll know I'm about as hardcore as it gets when it comes to being a martial arts enthusiast. Now, some of the other videos that I've done touching on some key martial artists that I don't feel that I get the respect that they deserve is Hakuo Sho, the legendary sumo warrior. He's uh, one of the greatest warriors to ever brace the earth. Don't mind the police sirens, South London. This is gonna happen sometimes in my videos. But um, yeah, so this video is about none other than the king of left way himself, Dave LeDuck. Dave LeDuck, or maybe more appropriately, King LeDuck, is one of the best martial artists walking the face of the earth period doesn't matter what sport doesn't matter what you say he is one of the best fighters we have on the planet right now he is so talented so durable and so violent but before we talk about David Duck and before we start to understand really what makes him so brilliant why don't we talk about left way and what is left way so you guys will know what Muay Thai is especially if you're MMA fans you'll know what Muay Thai is maybe you follow Muay Thai maybe you don't you should follow Muay Thai there's some great warriors in that as well check out the likes of Rod Tang, who's young in his prime, has had 500 pro fights. It's just ridiculous. Check it out. But left weight can be likened to Muay Thai, but it's different. Why Muay Thai is the art of the eight limbs, left weight is the art of the nine limbs because they use the head. And if you're bold like me, you know, bang, headbutt. So David Duck does have a similar ha hairstyle to me. Um, so it's about the art of the nine limbs where they throw in the, the use of the head as well. And it's, uh, it really kind of changes the dynamic of the game. Also, and very importantly, in Muay Thai they use gloves, in left way there's no gloves, it's for bare knuckle rules. Absolutely insane, what a great sport. Now, just to give you guys some of the history of left way, left way is not something that's been, you know, just created now by some crazy dudes who wanted to throw down. Actually, it dates back to the 11th century, where in the Pew Empire, uh, in Myanmar, modern day Myanmar, once upon a time Burma, and so on and so forth. It was actually a traditional form of martial arts fought back then and it's something that's existed in some realm of reality ever since then. So we're talking over 900 years of history in this form of martial arts. So this is not something that's new. This is not uh, something that's been created recently. And it went through a major reform at the hands of um, Kiao Banin. I'm sure I slaughtered his name. But Kiao Banin was the 1952 uh, Olympian. He was an amateur boxer in 1952 for Myanmar. And he went and fought in the Olympics and after that, he worked to uh, kind of reform the sport of left way and created what is now known as the modern rule set of left way. Now left way has a long and deep history and it's something that I could touch on for a long long time. I've really enjoyed left way for a long time. It's not something that I've covered because it's not historically been covered but my channel is so small that I can cover whatever the hell I want. It doesn't really matter. Now um, I could do a whole video talking about left way if that's what you guys want. If that's what you guys want then comment below and I'm happy to do that. But um, yeah, do do let me know. But standing out in the sport of left way is a warrior from uh, from Canada, I believe it is, and his name is Dave the Duck. Dave the Duck is is a savage. He he only stands at six foot one. He weighs about 176 pounds, and that's his walk around weight. He competes at 174, 176. But we're talking about a guy who who fully hydrated, eats a burger, walks in and gets weighed in. And he actually made an Instagram post about that. That's actually wild how brave he is. And he will be there fighting open weight, which means anyway, he'll be fighting heavyweights. He'll be fighting light heavyweights. He'll be fighting cruiserweights. Just recently, he fought a veteran of uh, 100 professional kickboxing fights and knocked him out. Dave Duck is an absolute savage. And if you know anything about Dave Duck and you've seen him training, you've seen him promoting what he loves, you know that he's a king. He's a king in his element and he feels like a king. He talks the talk of a king in his realm, realm in, on his throne he will not be challenged this is who he is and this is where he belongs you do not come and test Dave the Duck like that you don't do that you don't step in his realm and anyone that threatens his throne will get their head smashed in the 28 year old who um, you know like I said only weighs about 
170 pounds has also fought in other sports so now before i start talking about david duck a little bit more let me just talk about some of his accomplishments and accolades outside of the sports of left way so he's free and as an amateur mixed martial artist he had a couple of mma fights didn't go his way but then he's not a mixed martial arts fighter he's a He's a, he's a fighter, he's a fighter in the truest sense, he'll smash your head in in a street fight, he's probably the worst person on earth that you would like to bump in, but he's 3-0 as an amateur mixed martial artist. He's also 15-1 and as a professional Muay Thai fighter, and I'm sure he's had tons of fights that are not recorded, but when I first came aware of who Dave Duck is, was in 2014 when there was a little bit of a controversy because he was involved in prison fights. Now at the time, uh, the government of Myanmar and Thailand as well, I believe, were doing um, left way fights and they were saying that fighters who achieve incredible success in left way whilst in prison will have the ability to, you know, not only reform but have years shaved off their prison sentence. Now, there was obviously a lot of controversy for that and David Duck was straight G about it. He goes, look man, I'm coming here to fight. Don't really give a fuck what's going on. Don't really care about the politics of it all. If something's going on, let me know. I'm going to come handle it and they're going to get 100% of me. I'm not going easy. They're, they're going to have to go to a war with him. And that just really shows his mentality. This is a fearless man who will fight any man walking the face of the earth. Now, um, when we're talking about left way, whilst his professional record stands at six wins, zero losses and six draws, because as I understand it, there's no decision system in left way. You either win by knockout or it goes to draw. And those are fights he's won. He's 12-0 and 0 in my opinion. And me being a, you know, a Western fight fan that likes to score everything as far as i'm concerned he's undefeated in left way i've seen all his left way fights right he's also won the world championships in left way so 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 let me just talk about some of his accolades now aside from that in actual left way he's the first non-burmese golden belt holder in in the world championship in the world cup of left way he's a left way world champion with nine successful defenses remember the system is different so don't don't concern yourself with what his record is. Forget that. Forget the Western notions of knowing a fighter's record, how much wins, lost. forget that. He's a warrior, true and true, trial and tested. You guys need to take some time to understand that. And I can explain that if you guys want a video on that. So we're talking about a guy who's won multiple world championships, who's won World Cups, who's, who's broken social statuses and expectations of what a foreigner can come and do. He's gone into the most challenging testing realms of, of combat and come out on top and he sits on top of the throne as a king. Dave LeDuc is a king. And when you start to look at his accomplishments and start to understand everything that he's done and the way he fights is just savage. Look, he's a brutal fighter. He will put people against the cage, he'll beat them down and he'll smash their head into him with no dis no regard at all for his personal health and safety. It's wild. He, he may be the most violent man in combat sports today. Not may, he is. So when we're talking about, you know, the world, the most violent man in MMA is Eddie Alvarez. Is none of these guys, the violent, the warriors. None of these guys are as violent as David Duck and what he is willing to do and what he is willing to go through. Just look at some of his Instagram posts, see what this man is about, and get to understand him. Now, this video is almost just like a fan video, kind of giving you guys some insight. And who am I? What's my channel worth? How many people will watch this? If a hundred people view this, I'll be impressed. But it's not about that. It's about me talking to you guys about martial arts topics that I love and I'm passionate about well King Leduc is most certainly a fighter who I am passionate about and I'm a huge fan of if you guys ain't seen him check out his fights if you don't know who he is check him out on Instagram follow him you know learn about him learn about left way if you want to know about more about left way I'm happy to do a video explaining left way in a lot more detail let me know if you guys enjoyed this video anyway Comment below, let me know if you're going to check him out. Let me know if you enjoy these types of videos where I talk about different stuff. I know there's a couple of fights coming up. I'm not going to cover both the main events, you know, the Shevchenko and the Davidson Figueredo fight. I only covered the Davidson Figueredo fight for that card just because I don't think the Valentina Shevchenko one's exciting. I don't always need to be covering all the mixed martial arts. I'm a martial arts fan, this is mine for combat. So let me kind of know what you guys want to see. If you want to see more of this, or if you guys want to see me focusing on the breakdowns. Let me know if you enjoyed this. If you're new here, remember to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Comment below. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, I'm Rohan, and this is Mindful Combat.